<clears throat> Hello, YouTubers. I'm not an expert, and this is what I look like in real life. I'm not just a pair of hands. One hand, two hands. All right, I got notes. Uh, today I'm reviewing Blackburn Tools 9-inch dovetail saw kit. Uh, it's not going to be a positive review, uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and show my face because it's a small business, and you know it's got a negative review of this business. The saw is great. Business needs some work. So I thought I'd tell you my story so you'd have information to go on if you're thinking about ordering something from Blackburn Tools or from someone else. Uh, let me give you my timeline. The, the, the big problem, I'll just get cut right to it, is ex really excessive delivery time. It took 10 months to get the saw. Uh, I ordered it on June 10th of 2023, and the website said could be three or four months. It also said that all you're going to get is a PayPal receipt. No order confirmation, no communications with the maker because it takes up too much of his time. And I thought, okay, maybe the guy's, you know, an engineer and he's not real good at communicating. I'll survive. Let's try it. Let's order it up. So I order it without doing any real research. And later I'm on like Reddit and other woodworking forums. I'm looking around and I see that uh, a lot of people are complaining about wait times of more than a year for things they've ordered and no communications. And of course, people immediately think they've been ripped off, you know? Um, so what's going on? Some people defend him, some don't. So that's a little disheartening, right? I think, well, maybe I've, you know, maybe I've just caught a guy whose business is failing. And, you know, at the end of that, someone usually gets, gets a loss, right? Someone usually loses their money. I don't know. So I, I uh, you know, and there's videos out there. You can, you can look for, uh, if you can search for Blackburn Tools and Zoom, there's a Zoom call, conference call that he did where he tries to explain the problem. Um, I just don't think he explained a solution. So it wasn't also not encouraging. But, um, you know, eventually the saw did show up. So I want to be clear about that. I want to be fair, as fair as possible. So I ordered on June 10th. Uh, December 15th, I requested an update, nothing, no, no response at all. Uh, so finally in March, having figured, you know, it's a total loss, but what's, what's the harm sending an email? Uh, I sent him, I, I went to the website to get his email address and found that he'd posted up sometime in the past few months saying, uh, if you're waiting on an order, send me an email saying either you want to keep waiting, you want a refund, or do you want partial shipments if you ordered a lot of stuff? So I forwarded my PayPal receipt this time to him and said, I want to keep waiting. I want to see it through. Can you tell me any kind of timeline? Right. Uh, I don't get a response to that email, a response to that email exactly, but I did get a shipping confirmation about 10 days later. And the next day, the post office said they had actually received the package. So not just a, I printed a label to keep you quiet thing. He actually was shipping it. Um, it got here on March 25th. And then I had to think about, well, I want to do a review because that's what I do. And that's kind of why I bought this. Um, I wanted an inexpensive dovetail saw where I really bought it. But so uh, should I just do the video and not get into it? Uh, I saw someone else had made a video about a Blackburn tool. The video was produced right around the time I ordered. And there was nothing in that video to say anything about delays. And at that time, delays were apparently significant. So I didn't want to review the tool and not say anything. I don't want you to, you know, cause I think it's important. Uh, I think it's relevant. So why am I saying a negative review? I did get my tool, right? So the, the pros of this were the price, uh, $56 shipped for a dovetail saw kit. That is pretty neat. I think it's a good deal. Might be part of his problem. Maybe it's too good a deal. I got too many orders. Uh, the second thing is the quality of it. And I'll show it to you in a minute. I think it's very good quality for the money. Uh, I think it's just generally good quality. It's a good quality tool. So that's great. I love that. Uh, that's what I wanted. And he delivered on that. The negatives, right? So positives, price and quality. Pretty good. The negatives are, uh, first the shipping time. Uh, now I got it in 10 months. I just went and checked Reddit 
two months ago, people were talking on Reddit about ships. Some people are waiting two years for what they've ordered. I don't know what they ordered. He has a quite a quite a variety of products on his site, and I'm sure he's making them in batches. I assume. Um, so shipping time. This saw it's nice. It's good quality. It was cheap, but ten months for a saw. It it's just not that special. It's not a Faberge egg. It's not custom made. It's not a portrait. You know, it's it's a saw. It's a tool. And I don't think any saw from any of these companies is worth 10-month wait. You know, if it was fully finished, custom made by some artisan, I guess it is actually made by some artisan technically, right? He's an artisan. He makes it nice stuff. Maybe, it, you know, it might be worth something if it had some signature on it. But I don't, I don't picture how I'm going to brag about it or anything. It's just not, there's no value there in that time. Uh, and uh, you could spend twice as much money and get a Veritas saw, which is pretty, still pretty reasonable, about $100 probably by shipping. You get it in a week, and you can use it because that's the whole point, right? This isn't something I'm going to hang on my wall to stare at. Uh, the idea is it's a tool I can use. So um, first big con is the wait time is excessive. The second con is that the communications. Um, most garage businesses will at least send you some kind of an order confirmation some contact so you know they're still alive, right? He has nothing on his website about where his production's at. You know, this last update was in November, I think. Um, he doesn't send you any kind of communication. Now, it, for my personal experience, it's no big deal because I got the saw eventually and I don't have any customer service issues. All the parts came and they're all fine. But what if they weren't? What if he'd forgotten a part? Uh, what if he? Uh, what if it came and it was damaged in the mail? What do I do? I think I'd have no. I think I'd have nothing because these communications are so bad. So I can't tell you. I, I, I can tell you it's a nice saw, but I can't tell you to buy one. I can't say yeah, I recommend it. I don't recommend it because of those issues. It's just not special enough. It's a saw, you know. It's it's it's. There's other saws. Um, it's not special enough to, to recommend, but why don't we cut to, uh, the video I already shot where I'm going to show you the, the, the saw itself so you can see what it is and make your own decisions. All right. Thanks. So here it is nine inches long. It's very thin. It's going to make a very small kerf if you need that. Um, here you can see at the back end of the blade, the teeth are very uniform, look terrific. It's got a little notch cut which makes it look very nicely finished but you'll notice the top is intact it's full width now blackburn has templates like like this right on his website for uh making the saw and you can see the saw outline in there has that corner clipped off to fit his hands his handle template but he sends the saw with all the material it's not clipped so you can do whatever you want, right? It's a kit. So you get that uh, clip or you got to do that clipping yourself. Okay, let's take a look at the back because this is what it came with. The, the plate, the saw back and two saw nuts. That was the kit for 56 delivery. Okay. This is really just a rectangular hunk of brass, but he has cut that slot in it. That's the important part, right? For the, for the saw plate to fit into. And it also is the full length. So you have all the material to work with, do whatever you want. And it's a kit, right? So rounding the top off or shaping the top, faceting it, uh, engraving or putting scallops or etching or any decoration you want to do, it's up to you. Right? You get to do all that, which is pretty neat, right? Now let's take a look at his the saw nuts he produced. I believe he makes these. Um, let's see if I can get my camera to focus. There you go. So it's a split. It's a... A brass split nut, a couple little washers on it. Look, these look really nice. That one's got some dirt on it. There you go. Yeah, it's just dirt. Very nice, right? Really cool. Um, so let me show you as a way of comparison. Here is my Veritas saw, which is a Veritas. No, this is a fine tooth. This is a 20 teeth branch. But let's look at the, the blades next to each other. And you can see. They're the same length. They're, you know, this is a little narrower, right? When the back's on there, I've got a lot of glare in my face. 
It's a little narrower, but basically the same. It's going to end up basically the same size as the Veritas. The handle, I'm going to use his template, use Blackburn's template to make a handle. Now, Blackburn has these templates. You see that says large. He has small, medium, and large, and a variety of, of shapes depending on like what size saw you've purchased, if you purchase one. So let's look at the Veritas handle, which, of course, the back is not brass or steel. It's polymer. I think there's a piece of steel in there. It's, it's not that light, it, which blends into the handle, which, you know, it has the horns. It's kind of like a space age rendition of a traditional handle. It feels great. Uh, I think everybody likes the way these feel. The finish is interesting. I'm not sure what, I guess it's some kind of urethane. I don't know what kind of wood that is. It's, it's a different looking thing, but it's uh, it's real nice, you know? So uh, I got to make my own handle. We'll see how it comes out. But that's, that's the comparison. Cause that's, I think the kind of the closest competitor, similar size saw uh, about twice as much money, but it's done, you know, it's, it's completed. saw, not a kit. So, uh, you know, there's a value comparison, right? What do you think? So, Anyway, there's my, uh, my review of a Veritas saw kit. The next video will be making a handle and then finally putting the saw together. I uh, hope you tune in for that. Um, if you have uh, any info, you have opinions, I'd love to hear them. Other people, you can share that. Other people will see it. Like, what's your wait time been if you ordered something? Uh, how do you feel about supporting or not supporting someone whose company's you know, not doing so great? I think, at least in the delivery, is he getting better? All those kind of things. Whatever you feel like, um, throw it on out there. That's all I got for today. Uh, it's going to be a little while to deliver another video. I got some things going on. So I hope you'll stick with me and tune in when I get something going. We'll catch you later.